Hello friends, this video on P block part 39 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll start with group 17 elements. Group 17 elements are also called halogens. The group 17 elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. Why they are called halogens? This halogen actually came from a Greek word where halo means salt and gens is nothing but generator generator or producer so that is salt producer or salt generator all these elements you see this is my fluorine this is my chlorine bromine and iodine all these elements in the group 17 except astatine that is these all are found in sea water they all found in sea water. Example, if you see sodium, sodium chloride is the most important composition of sea water. It has chlorine and they form found in the form of soluble salts. They are very, very reactive. They are very, very reactive. They are all non-metals. A very very reactive non-metals will explain more on these why they are reactive or I'll say highly reactive they are highly reactive non-metals this acetate is actually a radioactive these are the other one chlorine chlorine bromine iodines are not radioactive the acetate is radioactive and this is rare also it is not so common acetate okay and the reason why they are grouped in one group that is group 17 is because they have similar electronic configuration that is my ns2 np5 so 5 plus 2 7 plus 10 is 17 they are in the group 17 uh, group 17 so they are having a similar electronic configuration also they have similar properties and we'll discuss about this they have similar properties and they also show regular gradation in their physical and chemical properties. So we'll discuss about those things. Just understand this is group 17 elements called halogens. Why halogens? Because they are derived from the word um, salt generator, Greek word. And most of these are found in the sea, sea water. Okay. In the form of salts, in the form of soluble salt. And that's why they're called salt uh, generator. If you talk about the occurrence of the group 17 elements, now I, I have already told that they are very reactive, right? This is something which I have already told you. In fact, they are very reactive. Now, since they are very reactive, is it possible that they occur in free state? Obviously, no, no free state. Why? Because I have already told you that they are very reactive. I'll tell you why they are reactive in a next few slides just uh, hold for that time now since they are very reactive they don't occur in free state so they occur in combined state only they occur in combined state with other elements so we talk about fluorine and chlorine it is fairly abundant it is fairly that is uh, you can actually find these abundant but you talk about bromine and iodine, it is less abundant. If you talk about astatine, it is rare, it is actually rare, it is radioactive and it is rare. Let's talk about uh, the occurrence of fluorine. See, so fluorine, uh, you get this fluorine in uh, CAF2 rock, that is fluorospar rock, there are some rocks or this is a uh, fluorospar or cryolite cryolite is Na3AlF6 this is my cryolite this is my fluorospar or you also get in fluoropatite that is Ca3 PO42 CaF2 yeah this is the This is the 
Yeah. So in these three rocks, you get fluorine. You also get fluorine in soil. You also get fluorine in the river water. And also in teeth and this bones. So you get fluorine in these only things. These are all various rocks actually. So you can see that these are my, I'm not showing the actual picture of these rocks, but just uh, understand that these are different uh, rocks with different look and feel. If you talk about the chlorine, chlorine you generally get from the seawater. Why? Seawater is salty. It is salty, it has sodium chloride. And from this you get chlorine. If you talk about the bromine, the third one bromine, this is also as a bromide salt in seawater. Seawater also has something called NABR. So this NABR actually is the origin for or uh, this is a source for bromine. We talk about iodine. See iodine also you get from seawater actually. Seawater has bromine. Seawater also has iodine. So seawater has iodine in the form of sodium and calcium iodates. I'll write sodium and calcium iodates. So from this you get uh, iodine. Also in this seawater there are some marine life. Marine plants, marine um, fishes now. Seaweeds also in the seawater. So these are also source of iodine. Okay, so that's all about the occurrence of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Chlorine generally from these uh, rocks or from the seawater, soil, teeth and bones. Chlorine mostly from the seawater, bromine mostly from the seawater, iodine also mostly from the seawater and also from the marine life in the seawater. Okay. Now having understood uh, the occurrence and overview of group 17 elements and I also told that these group 17 elements they have some common physical and chemical properties which we will discuss but they also show a regular gradation in their physical and chemical properties. So let's see the trends uh, in the physical and chemical properties. We will dis we'll be discussing about the trends in the electronic configuration density, melting and boiling point, atomic and ionic radius, ionization enthalpy, electronegativity, metallic character, color, oxidizing agent, oxidation states, physical properties, bond dissociation enthalpy. So we'll discuss about these things. We'll discuss about all these uh, trends for the group 17 element. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.